CIG drops a nice surprise for the community with the latest stars in Alpha 3.24.1 patch. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for D Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. Big, big, big surprise. Didn't expect starts in Alpha 3.24.1 to drop so soon, as well as the surprise that they dropped with it. Um, we finally got our very first um, mech in the game in Star Citizen. Didn't think we'll see this uh, this soon, but uh, CIG drops it as a surprise. So, um, with the latest starts in Alpha 3.24.1 patch, it's in the PTU and it's for all waves except for the Atlas. The only people that can um, spawn the Atlas is going to be Evil Cardi members. So, if you do know an Evil Cardi member, just go to their hangar and check it out. All right. So now, looking at the patch notes, the testing focus will be stability and bug fixes. Um, Argo Atlas, it says here, only Evil Cardi members will be able to spawn um, these in today's PTU, but they are not under NDA, so find your local Evil. All right, so it says the Atlas who spawns like a ship in hangar from the elevator, and there are a few known issues to know about for the Atlas. So I'm not gonna go through the known issues i'm going to include the patch notes um in the description so if you guys want to check those out um you can look at them so under gameplay and features they've done an update uh to vehicle terminal scroll bar and it will now stay in position when swapping screens to deliver and claim under ships and vehicles the argo atlas suit it says here currently spawnable by evil Cardi testers it says the Argo Atlas is a powered suit that the player can mount, enter, um, design to um, assist them in performing more heavy duty cargo movement tasks. The player can retrieve their Atlas via instance hangar ASOP terminals. The suit cannot be retrieved via spaceport uh, ASOP terminals or ground vehicle ASOP terminals. The Atlas has its own bespoke tractor beam that acts differently to the handheld grain tractor beams and the tractor beam found on vehicles rather than picking up an item at the point where the beam uh, hits its target the beam will pull the tether item towards the player holding it above the atlas whilst the player moves the placement preview upon placing the preview the item will then move to the placement location the player can also reset the rotation of the preview by pressing middle mouse button so based on this i'm gonna have a video of this um uh, in in this video for you guys to watch as i'm speaking and based on description of this it seems like it's going to make uh, moving cargo a little bit more efficient right now with your tractor beams you literally have to pick it up and move it around and take take it to the place where you want it but this time with this it'll grab it and put it above its above your head and you can just start moving with it and it seems like it has a little bit of extra range as well too so i i think if you have it in the right position in between your ship and uh the cargo um elevator you can just grab and place grab and place and i think it'll make it a little bit a little bit uh efficient all right so bug fixes players are able to buy 32 su commodity boxes at all posts which are too large to retrieve with the freight elevator they fix an issue where error claims you currently cannot be processed when when claiming or retrieving they fix an issue causing missing markers for bounty hunter mission they fix an issue where you're unable to sell carryable items they fix an issue when retrieving a ship then swapping servers and retrieving another ship, they will both be present in your hangar. They fix an issue where cargo transfer is absent if spindles are not extended be before entering loading bay. They fix an issue when players have a pending manual sell order, the store option will be missing from the ASAP terminal. They fix an issue where the atmospheric flight causes the F7A Mach 2 to pitch down and whip around. They fix an issue where top row blending heads not selectable they fix an issue where missions will not update or complete 
on delivery using the cargo decks they're fixing an the issue where uh stuck inside of habitation as door doesn't open i'm, I'm familiar with that one they, they fixed an issue where landing zone freight elevator stuck on loading content they fixed an issue where when delivering a ship using asap it appears to be stuck at zero 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 until leaving and re-entering asap terminal they fixed an issue where location inventory interface upon behind the storage book kiosk when um using the new interaction flow they fix an issue for a new player experience mission won't progress past the prepare for takeoff objective they fix an issue where co-pilot c can now activate the salvage in the back of the cutlass they fix an issue where entities that clip under the ship's elevator can break personal hangers that's interesting yeah that's been prevalent so i'm glad that they have this fix uh the fixing issue where the mpuv falls when the cargo attached to grid they fix an issue uh when deselecting a commodity and, and reselecting the cargo box size selection is reset when the selection should stay the same they fix an issue where hall c cargo load one box and stops loading the rest of the cargo uh mission boxes and remain at zero 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 time they fix an issue where you're unable to sell or due to transition cost mismatch error along with this is two client crash fixes a balkan rendering specific client crash when dog fighting i did notice this myself they also fix an intel 13 and 14th gen specific client crash they also have eight server crash fixes a server deadlock fix and two hybrid service crash fixes tons and tons of updates and fixes for this one hopefully this resolves most of our issues in uh the pu right now also super stoked for the new mech suit i'm gonna go out try and see if i can get my hands on one all right before I let you go, I just let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.